Hello everyone, and welcome to a little extra video that I wanted to do. We got a mini Famicom. Uh, you can see all the games that are in there on the back of the box. As you can see, it's uh, not a very big box. It truly is mini, as the name would imply. So let's open this baby up. Inside, we've got some Nintendo points, which I've already used. Uh, and before we look at the actual thing, let's take a look underneath, where we've got some cables. We've got the HDMI, and we've got the USB. USB is used to uh, power this little beast. Now, here's the thing that we've actually all been waiting for, the Mini Famicom itself. First, let's take a look at these tiny, tiny, tiny controllers. Look at how fucking tiny these things are. But weirdly enough, they're not all that difficult to handle. They're actually quite alright. Uh, this one features some fake buttons and a fake microphone. But yeah, as I said, they um, might be tiny, but they're, uh, they're quite all right. And this is the actual thing itself, also tiny, or mini, I guess I should say. Very light, too. And you can put the controllers right there. Here's it next to a mug. It's a big mug, I'll uh, give you that, but still, look at how fucking tiny these things are. And next to a cat, cat for scale. There's the on and off button, and the reset slash menu button. That button will get you uh, back to the menu when you're playing a game. This is all closed up. And finally, this is where we hook it up. And so this is what the Famicom Mini looks like when you hook it up. It's uh, all hooked up now. It's so tiny. It's it's really tiny. Uh, and I I haven't really tried out here yet, but I know for a fact because uh, a friend of mine owns this as well, so I tried out at his place. Um, the cords are really short. Like this is. This is the length, of, you can't really, probably can't really see it, but it's like uh, arm's length. So you can't put this <laughs> at your TV and just expect to sit on the couch. All right, but let's uh, take a look at what we have. We have Ice Climbers, Castlevania, uh, Mystery of Atlantis, ER Kung Fu, Excite Bike, Galaga, Gradius, Super Contra, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. USA, Zelda, uh, Tower of Solomon, Downtown, uh, I think this is one of those, I've, I've, I know that this is a franchise that still exists, but yeah, there's also Downtown, I think they're beat-em-ups, never played them, uh, Double Dragon, Tsupari Osumo, Daizumo, a sumo game. Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong, uh, Ninja Gaiden, Balloon Fighter, Pac-Man, Final Fantasy 3, uh, Kirby, Makaimura, so uh, Ghouls and Goblins, Mario Golf, the original Mario Brothers, Metroid, uh, uh, Adventure, Link's, Link's Adventure, never played that one either. Uh, Mega Man 2, and that's uh, that's a circle. So let's uh, let's pl play a game on. The Look how tiny this thing is. I'm holding it. It's it's so tiny. <laughs> um, gonna be gaming like this. Let's try uh, this one of the Japan only titles. Tsupari. Ooh, Ozumo. Start 
continue. Oh, wait, am I, am I holding? No, this, this is number one. It's uh, not responding. That's strange. Maybe start. Okay, I have to press start. Uh, I can choose a name. What shall we do? Um, I always go with Tayo, which is Sun. So we'll just go with um, the easy character for Sun. That's this one. That's fine. Alright, so where are we? We're at the bottom. Alright. I, I have no idea. This is the first time I've ever even heard of this game, so let's uh, see what we can do. It's a rabbit. Oh no. I'm just gonna press some buttons. Come on! He's doing move. I, I don't even know. I think I'm I'm the red one. Right? Am I the red one? Did I win? Yeah, I won. I'm the red one. Ah, all right. So you just smash. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can uh, replicate that. No! No! Okay. So far, so good, I guess. Sugoi's oh! Says the one on the left. I am very Sugoi. Oh. Shouldn't I throw in some salt too? I believe it's salt that they throw in there. I've never. I, it's one of those things that you would expect people that live in Japan to do go to a sumo contest. No! Oh no! No! Oh! Holy shit! How the fuck did I do that? Okay, right, well, I won. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for the meal. Um, but yeah, I, I never actually um, have seen a sumo competition. The events are obviously limited to seasons two and they're sold out real quick. Plus I don't really know the rules, but they're on like when you're at a Japanese house and it's it's the sumo season, uh, odds are like it would be on the news or whatever. I believe this year, uh, or last year, like a Japanese sumo wrestler won again. I, I wonder if, oh no, wait, I'm, I'm on the, on the right side. Yeah! <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I'm doing something right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Well, oh, well, that's the start screen. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, this is the pause button. Oh, he's cleaning the ring while he's waiting for us. I wonder why there are animals in, in, in the, in this world though. I mean, I'm fine with it, but it's, it's, the, the Kong, the sumo really need bunny arbiters. No! 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 Fuck off! No! Fuck off! No! 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 Have a little look at what else we've got on here. Oh, okay, so this... You can save your data. Sure. Save the data. 
Why not? Um, what's another? Well, so I've never played these, so let's uh, let's try one of the. I think. Okay, I'm I'm not sure which one is supposed to be the first one. I think this is supposed to be the first one. A tale of hot blood. Literal translation. Uh, choose your game mode and character. No, yeah, one player. Start. Uh, message speed. Slow, normal, fast. Normal is fine. Jesus, I'm not gonna read all this. Uh, Riku and Kunio. Uh, what what have you done, Kunio? Yeah, we're going to Reho, Deho, right? You're going too, right? Do what you want. It's so hard to read, like... It's, first of all, it's hard to read if it's only Kana. I'm just gonna skip this. Um, people think that kanji are difficult. They're not really difficult, it's just it takes a while to learn. Um, come here. Can I pick up? Can I pick up a weapon? Oh yeah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, characters. If there's no characters, stuff gets so much harder to read because there's a lot of homonyms in Japanese. Come on, pick up the. Pick up the... Ah. So it's, uh, yeah, characters really make... You, you wouldn't think so, maybe, if you haven't grown up with them. I didn't really... I figured at first that it would make things difficult, but not having characters is so much harder to read Japanese. And on top of that, um, it's all uh, blocky, of course, pixelated. The, this is the Shoten guy. The, the uh, what do you call it? The shopping area? Shopping street? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Such aggression. Come on! Come on, pick up. Yeah! Chain to the face! Come back! <laughs> oh, he has brass knuckles. Take those. Yeah, brass knuckles. Fuck. No, no, no. Fuck off. No. Am I dead? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's, <scary. laughs> That's pretty funny. I know that they uh, made... Because it's downtown, I always have to think of uh, uh, Gakinot Sky, which is also um, like two of the. It's a Japanese show, and um, two of the comedians are part of a group called Downtown, I believe. If I'm not mixing them up. Um, so that's what I always think of. But it's essentially Double Dragon, sort of. Come on! <laughs> oh no no, I'm I'm gonna die. D Whoa, he just threw his friend. You don't wanna be with the green guys. They just throw you off. What? Okay, I got hit by something. Alright. What else have we got? Let's uh oh no! No no no. What else have we got? Well, actually, um, listeners of my podcast might know that I haven't actually played any Kirby games. So let's, um, try Kirby. Why not?
All right. Kirby. Um, all right. Vegetable Valley. Let's, uh, see how this game works. Oh, you can't, okay, so you have to press up to do the floating. Come in my belly! interesting so I don't know if the f if the power absorption that is probably a thing from the very first Kirby huh I think and that's probably what I just did hello he's very cute no okay so that's how it works fire Oh, shit. Oh, you can spit them out, too? No. What do I do? Hmm. Okay. There's a girl, wild girl, Grandma Gab, coming into the, into the room. <sighs> well, that is great, because I'm about to wrap this up. I just, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little peek at, uh... I mean, it's it's something that's been out for a while. The the super or the mini S N mini N E S. Jesus. There we go. Push A. Oh, I didn't push A. Yay! Seven. I don't push A. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? All right. Well, we'll uh, save. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's um, that's the tiny, tiny, tiny mini Famicom. Um, yeah, most of you, um, some of you might own the the mini NES, and uh, most of you will have seen it by now. But maybe not that many of you have seen the uh, mini Famicom. And uh, with the recent news that they're being discontinued, of course, the super, the I keep saying super, but the mini Famicom is only going to be, supposedly only, only going to be discontinued for uh, this year. So this, sh you should be able to still get your hands on this guy if you can get it in Japan. Uh, we got this from Japanese Amazon, which does occasionally ship abroad, depends on the seller too. Um, maybe worth checking out if you're interested. Uh, it's just powered by a USB, so that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, HDMI, so I don't suppose it's really a problem to, to get it to work abroad. And some extra games uh, that aren't on the... Um, or extra games, some games that aren't on the NES, the min mini NES. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little sneak peek. Not sneak peek. hope you guys enjoyed this little peek. I'm horrible with words today. Um, thank you guys for checking out the video, and uh, see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.